All right, I'm gonna give you tips what to do when you go from Vegas to Zion to Bryce Canyon to Moab to Canyon Lands and then Grand Canyon and then back to Vegas. It's a lot. So here we go. All right. So flying out to Vegas. First thing I tell you is I like a Legionnaire. They get you straight there, easy. Um, I like their situation they have going on. Last two times I've flown American Airlines, it's been a mess. Didn't love them. We had to spend the night in their air, um, hotel near close to the airport. They just kept delaying and delaying the fights. Anyway, so tip number one, Legionnaire. Now, you get to Zion. Boom. Are you sorry? You get to Las Vegas, not Zion. Flying to Las Vegas. Make sure you have a Turo car. I like Turo, it's the easiest. Use your phone, use the app. It's the easiest way to go. It's what we've been using lately. Turo, T U R O. So that's our second tip. Third tip. I say go to In N Out Burger when you f it's really close to the airport. Get there, go get a burger. If you've been there before, you know about it. It's amazing. They get that triple with that lettuce bun. Whew. Third tip, I would say, do In N Out Burger. It's amazing. And we went there. Then we went straight towards Zion. We stopped at Walmart, which I'd recommend. Get yourself some food, some lunch meat, and some snacks because we had it all. And buy yourself like a cheap cooler. Um, or expensive one. It's up to you. Dealer's choice. You know what I'm saying? Money, money, money. And um, make sure you get some mice. There, uh, and that would be my um, fourth tip. Go to Walmart, get food. Fifth tip. Big tip. This is a big boy. It's a big tip. Get a Marriott credit card. Get your points. And stay at the Spring Hill Suites in Springdale. There's a shuttle that takes you right into Zion. It's amazing. The view is amazing. Here's a picture. My son next to the pool. It was awesome. Free breakfast in the morning. Really good. It's, it's a fairly new hotel. It's right there. There's a lot of stuff around there. You take the shuttle everywhere. I mean, the shuttle system they have at Zion is amazing after going to the other parks. They get you in and out. Uh, first day I went to the Narrows, which I highly recommend. I'll make a, I have a whole video of that. Uh, rent your shoes. That'd be my sixth tip. Six. Rent the shoes there. I plan on taking my own shoes. I've done it before where you walk around your own shoes. You could do it. Um, they're going to get wet. And then when you try to dry them out and, walk and, and carry them in a car, they just stink. I've done it before. We did it at the Great Smoky Mountains and our whole, just everything's, just you put them in a bag and just, it's not good. So just rent the shoes. 38 bucks. Get a locker for five bucks. You can get a walking stick, which I do recommend for anyone. <laughs> Me and my sons did not, but and my um, daughters. Only my wife got the stick, but it's all included in the price. Shoes, the socks, like waterproof socks. Um, you'll see in the video if you watch the Narrows video. Now, if you go to Angel's Landing, which we didn't know we were going to do, but we are like, we're here, let's do it. We got a reservation the day before. You have to get it before you go. Can't do it the day of. We got the one before 9 a.m., which I would recommend because it gets real hot when we went during the summer. If you're going some other time, do what you want, but you got to get the day before. And we got two passes for three people, so all six of us. Everyone went up Lane Angel's Landing. I'm actually scared of heights, and I loved it. So just uh, keep your head down and use those chains, and it's all good. Um, so get the reservation. Now, after you leave the sweet hotel and you don't want to, you drive to Bryce Canyon. Now make sure, your seventh tip here is you have flashlights for Bryce Canyon. Do a night hike and have an iPhone or some kind of camera. We did these pictures. You can look at these. I have them posted. Um, I have them on my other site. Uh, I think I put them on Facebook. but. Um, these amazing nighttime pictures. It was a beautiful view. I saw my first comment, but make sure you have flashlights and a really good um, night camera. And always have a camel back. That's just obvious. And so after we left Bryce, oh, my tip there is to stay at the lodge, at the Bryce Canyon Lodge if you can. We didn't. We stayed under the canvas. Didn't love it. So <sighs> that's a whole other thing. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Um, so then we leave Bryce. You're gonna, we went to Moab. And in between there, I can't remember, but I see a bunch of beautiful things from Bryce. Uh, we didn't spend much time with Bryce. I wish we could have spent more time, but we were trying to put everything in here. That's one of my recommendations is don't try to push it all together because between the two, Zion and Bryce were my favorite. Those are my two favorite parks. And so I went to Moab. Um, 
we were worn out at this point after doing the other parks. And so my tip is get some rest, enjoy your time. Um, this is where the Marriott credit card is going to pay off again. Um, we're at eight now. The Spring Hill Suites there at uh, Moab, amazing. Uh, the water parks there, I made it a little short of the pool. It has this huge, looks like rocks with waterfalls and the water is cold. There's like four hot tubs. It was amazing. Um, Arches has a lot of hiking. So if you're up to hiking at this point, we were so tired. We actually rented uh, ATVs and did that. That was fun. Um, I have a whole video about that you can see. And the food there is really good. They're, oh, my tip there, ninth tip there in Moab is there's a whole little a bunch of food trucks downtown. It, it's all right there. I would recommend eating there if you're looking for a place to eat. The food trucks, they're really good. There's pretty much something for everybody. Um, so then you leave Moab. And then we went to, we, we had to see Canyonlands. <laughs> um, so we just drove over real quick, saw Canyonlands, took some pictures. Well, they didn't do much there, so I can't tell you much. But um, try to allow yourself some time, because I'm telling you, me and my family, like, I work out, and I was super tired at this point. I just wanted to lay around and be lazy. I didn't want to leave the pool, actually. <laughs> and so then we left uh, Moab, did Canyonlands, and then that's where we went to Grand Canyon. That was a long drive. And my kids just wanted to get to the hotel, but we stopped and saw the Grand Canyon. Um, my tip there is I would stay, if I could do it again, I would stay in the park. It'd be really easy to wake up in the morning and just see the Grand Canyon. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, hiking's a lot different. I mean, you gotta do some serious hiking in the Grand Canyon. Uh, we didn't plan very well for our time because there's a lot of driving in between these places So make sure you know that when you schedule ahead one of my tips is like we were so tired I think from Like five hours from Bryce to Grand Canyon. There was a lot there um, So make sure you give yourself enough time because I felt rushed so at the Grand Canyon we did some of the Bright Angel Trail the next day and then we got out of there and went back to the Vegas. My kids were excited to get to Vegas. That's what it was. And this is where the Marriott pays off again. We stayed at the JW Marriott. This would be my ninth tip, I think, at this point. And um, I posted a video of this where there's tons of pools and spa. Me and my wife got a massage. We got to relax after our vacation because at this point, you're just so tired. Like, we wanted to just get back home for how many days we were there. And so, if I could do it again, and go try it again. I would just go to Zion and Bryce Canyon and that's it for one trip. And then try to go do another trip for Grand Canyon separate. Because there was so much going on. I just realized that after we left Zion, we went to this place called the Lower Creek Falls. You'll see this amazing waterfall, which it was, but it was a six mile hike. So that's where it wiped us out. It was hot as all get out. My wife sprained her ankle. The waterfall was cool. I'm going to post a little video here. But um, that's what destroyed us. I would not recommend going to the Lower Creek Falls. That's another bonus tip. Just go to Zion and go straight to Bryce Canyon and enjoy it. We were short on time. That's the thing. And so, hope you learned something from this. If I think of something else, I'll post it in the comments. Um, if you have any questions, post in the comments because, man, our brain's been rattling all the stuff we did and all the extra tips and tricks I wish I could have saw when I was there. Um, I watched tons of videos and nobody told me about food and what to, to bring and, you know, bring a camel back. Make sure you got, everybody has water, that's for sure. Like everybody broke water. I ordered a bunch of them on Amazon. Um, just put them in my wife's backpack and my son's backpack. I had a camel back. Uh, the one I bought my son, I'll have to make a video about that because I liked his the best. I ordered my daughter a different one, my son a different one. Um, a lot of snacks with you, take a lot of snacks. And um, I'm telling you, Zion's the place to go. If you can spend more time, I'd do it at Zion, do a separate trip at Grand Canyon. And then uh, enjoy the spa at JW Marriott if you can. Um, yeah, we tried to go downtown at Las Vegas the last night. <sighs> Whew. 
Make sure you appreciate um, all the beauty you saw at the parks because it is mass chaos. I wouldn't do that. So, I saw the Bellagio water spraying. So, all right. See y'all later. I gotta go to bed because it's midnight and I'm still all messed up from our trip. So, see ya. This man's about ready to ride a horse with the electronic cat. That's right. I gotta go rob a stagecoach. <laughs> But get it. What are we about to do? I don't know. Grab a Hummer? I'm gonna grab that. Hummers and ATVs. Yeah. Anything else? Anyway. I was just taking a sip of yours. Something cold.